Hi everyone, in this particular video, we are going to discuss about trick to find the shape and hybridization of the molecules. We should know how to calculate or predict the type of hybridization of molecule or ion. Three steps are here. The first step that is add the number of valence electron of all the atoms present in the given molecules. Here we have to calculate the total number of valence electrons. Uh, that is very simple. You just, uh, you can calculate the valence electron which is present in the whole molecule. Let's take an example, NH3, for nitrogen, 5 valence electrons, for hydrogen, for each hydrogen, 1 valence electron, for 3 hydrogens, 3 valence electrons. Therefore, here I am going to write the 3. It will be H. Uh, we can take another example, that is H2O. For each uh, hydrogen, 1 valence electron. For two hydrogens, two valence electrons. Therefore, two plus oxygen, six valence electrons. It will be H. Okay, step two. Uh, in the case of cation, uh, in the bracket uh, positively charged, subtract the number of electrons equal to the charge on the cation. In the case of anion, negatively charged, add a number of electrons equal to the charge on the anion. If you have the positive charge, if you have the positive sign, then you have to subtract that much value. If you have one positive charge, you have to subtract one. If you have two positive charge, you have to subtract two. If you have a negative sign, you have to add that. Okay. Therefore, here I am going to take an example. NH4 plus. For nitrogen, 5 valence electron. For each hydrogen, one valence electron. For four uh, hydrogens, four valence electrons plus four. Here, uh, one positive charge. If you have positive sign, you have to subtract that much value. Okay. Therefore, minus one. It will be H. Next, what you have to do? Once you have calculated the total valence electrons, you have to see the value of valence electron is how much. The value of valence electrons, if it is 8 or less than 8, you have to divide it by 2. Valence electrons If it is 8 or less than 8, if it is 8 or less than 8, you have to divide it by 2. You have to divide it by 2. Okay. This is the first. Okay. Uh, if the result obtained in step 2 is equal or less than 8, divided it by 2 and find the sum of coefficient and the remainder. Okay. Then here the second. The valence electrons, if it is greater than 8 or less than 56, you have to divide it by 8. Valence electrons. If it is greater than 8, and less than 56, if it is greater than 8 and less than 56, you have to divide it by 8. Valence electrons, if it is greater than 56, if it is greater than 56, divided by 80. This condition is very rare. Okay. This condition is very rare. You have to just keep in mind these two things. Let's take an example. BeCl2. The total valence electrons, uh, it will be 16. Therefore, beryllium, uh, the valence electrons, that is 2. 
for chlorine each chlorine will have seven valence electrons therefore seven into two that is 14 14 plus two that will be equal to 16. The value is more than 8 and less than 56. So we have to divide by 8. Therefore here the quotient that is 2 and reminder is 0. Therefore 2 plus 0 that is 2. Therefore here hybridization of the molecule that is sp. If it is 2 we can say that is sp hybridization. If it is 3 we can say that is sp2 hybridization. If it is 4 sp3. If it is 5 sp3d. If it is 6 sp3d2. 7 sp3t3. Another example that is NH3. The total uh, valence electrons. Uh, it will be H. If it is 8 or less than 8, you have to divide by 2. Therefore, here H. Here, we are not getting any reminder. Okay. Therefore, here 4 plus 0. That, uh, that is, it will be uh, 4. Therefore, if it is 4, we can say that is sp3 hybridization. Another example that is CCl4. For carbon, the valence electrons 4. Each chlorine will have 7 electrons. 7 valence electrons plus 7 into 4 that is 28. CCl4 total valence electrons it will be 32. The value is more than 8 and less than 56. So, we have to divide it by H. Therefore, here 32 divided by H. Here 32. Here we are not getting any reminder. Here 4. Therefore, 4 plus uh, 0. There is no reminder. Therefore, here if it is SA4, uh, the hybridization uh, it will be sp3. In this way, we assign the hybridization. Once hybridization is assigned, you can find the geometry and the shape. Now, let's take another example SO2. Here, things will be a little different. SO2. SO2 for sulfur 6 valence electrons 6 for oxygen 6 into 2 12 total valence electrons 18 the value is more than 18 and less than 56 so we have to divide by 8 18 H on dividing with 8 it will not cancel out therefore here 16 here 2 here 2 will be the reminder what we have to do again uh, we have to divide the reminder why uh, we are dividing with 2 because if it is less than 8 divided by 2 okay If it is less than 8, we have to divide by 2. Therefore, here 2, here 1, 0. Add all the quotient and the final reminder. Therefore, here 2 plus 1 plus reminder is 0. Therefore, here 2 plus 1, it will be 3. If it is 3, the hybridization is sp2. Another example that is PCL5. Here 5 plus 7 into 5, it will be 40. 
the value is more than 8 and less than 56 so we have to divide by 8 right 40 each here I am going to write 5 here we are not getting any reminder okay for 5 hybridization is sp3d like this you can easily assign the hybridization after getting hybridization what we have to do we have to find out the number of lawn pair how you are going to find out the number of lawn pair that is very simple whatever you are getting here sum of these two will be 3 right just subtract this number with the surrounding atoms 2 here 3 minus 2 will be 1 therefore lone pair equal to 1 the number of lone pair in this case that is 1 Number of bond pair is the number of atoms surrounding it. Since we have find out the number of bond pairs and number of lone pairs, after knowing the number of bond pairs and number of lone pair, you can easily tell that what will be the shape and geometry of the molecule. By using this formula, very easily you can find out the hybridization. Okay, a V the number of valence electron of central atom and M the number of monovalent atom and C uh, subtract the charges of cation. If you have a positive sign then you have to subtract that much value. Okay, then here A add the charges of the anion. If you have negative sign you have to add that. Okay, uh, hybridization is also used to determine the shape or geometry of the molecules or ions. This is the super duper tricks to memorize the shape of the molecules. Here the number of bond pair 2, number of lone pair 2. Before going into the details you should know what is lone pair and bond pair. The valence electron involved in the bonding is known as the bond pair. Valence electrons do not involved in the bonding is known as the lone pair. Therefore here to lone pair 2 okay if it is like this the shape of the molecule is bent shape okay then here bond pair 2 lone pair 3 if it is like this the shape of the molecule will be linear then here bond pair 3 and lone pair 0 then shape of the molecule is trigonal plana bond pair 3 and lone pair 1 here the shape of the molecule that is pyramidal then here bond pair 3 and lone pair 2. Here the shape of the molecule that is T-shaped. Bond pair 4 and a lone pair 0. If it is like this, the shape will be tetrahedral. Then here uh, bond pair 4, lone pair 1. Shape, uh, it will be triagonal bipyramidal. Bond pair 4 and lone pair 2. Shape, it will be square planar. Then here bond pair 5 and lone pair 0. Shape it will be trigonal bipyramidal. If it is 5 and 1 the shape will be square pyramidal. 5 and 2 it will be pentagonal planar. If it is 6 and 0 the shape it will be octahedral. Then 2 and 1 the shape it will be linear. In 2 and 0 shape it will be bent. You can also predict the shape from the hybridization of the molecule. For SP hybridization shape it will be linear. For SP2 hybridization bent RV. For SP3 hybridization tetrahedral shape. For DSP2 square planar shape. SP3D Trigonal bipyramidal, sp3d2, octahedral shape, sp3d3, pentagonal bipyramidal. Thank you everyone.